It's been a wild ride, but I've finally done it. I've collected every single 3D Mario game that's ever released. Today, I'm going to share what I love about these games and how I got them. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Super Mario 64 was the first 3D Mario game ever. Released on the N64 as a launch title back in 1996, people loved it. I got this game with my N64 from DK Oldies a few years ago, and I actually really enjoyed this one. I played Mario 64 DS before, which I'll get into later, but I've always loved 64 way more. Although the controls are kinda iffy, they still work. Mario also auto runs, which is way better than the DS version, where you have to hold the button to sprint, and that's kinda clunky. The levels are also really well designed, my favorites being Babam Battlefield, Lethal Lava Land, and Wet Dry World. World. But some of the locations just give a really eerie vibe. I can't explain it, but some of the music is just really unsettling. Wet Dry World has a really creepy feeling to it. Just seeing an entire town get flooded instantly is just creepy. The background also really adds to the eeriness of this stage, but I feel like this adds to the charm of the game. It gives Mario 64 such a distinct identity. If you remember back in 2020 when the Wario apparition in every copy of Mario 64 was personalized, people would talk about how eerie the game is. The game has aged really well for being an N64 game. The stars are really fun to get, and the game looks relatively good, but the cultural impact of this game is astonishing. Speed runs and challenge videos are as popular as ever, creepypastas were born, and it just shaped the entire Mario universe and 3D video games in general into what it is today. If you've watched me for a while, you probably know that this is my favorite Mario game of all time. I picked up this game probably two years ago at my local game store, but I first played it in Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Released on the GameCube back in 2002, the graphical jump from 64 to Sunshine is astonishing. I mean just look at Mario's model, it looks a thousand times better than the model from Super Mario 64. It also introduces a wide variety of new characters, such as the Piantas, Nokis, Petey Piranha, and Toadsworth to name a few. We also see Yoshi for the first time in 3D. The controls are almost close to perfect. If you miss a jump or make a mistake, you have Flood to be able to correct it. Some shines are tedious, such as the Pachinko Machine and Durian Mission, but I had a fun time collecting them all. Since Nintendo stuck with a beach theme, each location looks really nice and links with each other nicely, my favorite being Rico Harbor. Some of these locations are just breathtaking, and when you aren't in a tropical landscape, you can be in a bonus area where you have to complete platforming with or without Flood. Not only that, there are races that you can do against a mysterious masked man and blooper races which are super fun and control really well. The music also has a nice tropical feel to it, which is why it's one of my favorite Mario soundtracks. I can gush about this game for hours and hours, but we have 7 more games to get through, so let's move on. Super Mario 64 DS was a launch title for, you guessed it, the Nintendo DS. I got this at GameStop, hence the lack of a case, around 10-ish years ago. I've had a lot of memories with this game, playing it on my DS Lite on long car rides or when I was on vacation before the Switch was a thing. But nostalgia aside, it's Mario 64 but with 30 extra stars, 3 more characters, and worse controls. I guess I was too young to care, but the controls are what killed the game for me. It's not a bad game by any means, I just like how the original controls. Because you can't really control a 3D game with a D-pad, so Mario 64 controls just feel kind of awkward. Aside from that, it's just normal Mario 64, so not much else to say. It's the same great game. Super Mario Galaxy is a lot of people's first 3D Mario game. Releasing on the Wii back in 2007, this was a huge hit. Mario in Space, why would you not be hyped for this? I got this game as a gift around 10 years ago, and I was blown away when I played this. This game is a masterpiece. Almost every galaxy is memorable and fun. The stars are creative and enjoyable to collect, and we also get proper power-ups for the first time in 3D. Although we had the caps in Mario 64, those aren't traditional Mario power-ups. Here we get the Fire Flower, Ice Flower, Bee Mushroom, and many, many more. My favorite part of the game is the character variety. There are so many familiar and distinct Mario characters in this game, and the characters have such cool designs. Not to mention this is the first game to feature Rosalina, which is pretty cool. She's in the hub world, which is also amazing. The hub world is full of life and lumas, a lot of lumas, and the music is just perfection. Each song feels so cosmic and dramatic. There really isn't much more to say about this game. It's one of the most magical Mario experiences ever, and if you haven't experienced it yet, I highly recommend you do so. Super Mario Galaxy 2 released in 2010 on the Wii. 
I can't remember exactly what year I got this, but I got this on Christmas Day. Since I loved the original, I was so hyped to play Galaxy 2, and it definitely lived up to the hype. This game is amazing. The hub world in my opinion is better than Galaxy 1's. I like how it's a world map which is easier to get into levels. Starship Mario is also really cool to explore too. We also get to ride Yoshi in this game and he can make the galaxies much more varied due to the fruits he can eat. There are also galaxies which revolve around new power ups such as the rock mushroom, cloud flower, and spin drill. Although I do find it strange how the ice flower is the only absent power up from Galaxy 1 aside the red star of course. There's even 120 green stars to collect after completing the main game. It's also home to one of the hardest Mario levels, the perfect run. I still haven't beaten this stage, it's that difficult. I adore Mario Galaxy 2, although I like Mario Galaxy 1 more, Galaxy 2 is definitely up there and is such a memorable experience. Super Mario 3D Land is probably the most forgettable 3D Mario, but that doesn't mean the game is bad. I got this game with my 3DS back in 2015, but I'm going to be honest, I don't really remember much. This game is basically the new Super Mario Bros. 3D Mario. It's a 2D Mario game in a 3D one basically. This game brought back the Tanuki suit from Mario 3, which is a cool addition. We also get a brand new power up which is the boomerang flower, which in my opinion is much cooler than the fire flower. I love the level design in this game. The levels are short which I think complements a handheld Mario game well. There is a huge amount of content in this game. Each stage has 3 star medals to collect, which is basically just a redesigned Comet medal from Super Mario Galaxy 2. And on top of 45 normal levels, there are 45 special levels which are either harder variants of the older ones or new ones altogether. It even introduces a statue leaf, which functions the same as the Tanuki suit from Mario 3. This game also has a really hard level, but it's definitely easier than the other ones. So I enjoy 3D Land, I think it deserves a lot more recognition. Aside from it being forgettable, I had a blast going through this one. Super Mario 3D World was the first 3D Mario game I've ever played. I got this with my Wii U for Christmas in 2013, and I love 3D World so much. It pretty much got me into Mario and Nintendo. This game in Mario Kart 8 was my childhood, and I'll always respect 3D World for doing that. This game is like 3D Land with the linear levels, but the stages are much more open and larger due to it being a console game. But we also get the Super Bell, which turns Mario into a furry. It also brings back the Boomerang Flower and Tanuki Suit from 3D Land. There is also a Lucky Bell, which is just like the Statue Leaf, but a cat version. A Ground Pound turns you into a Coin Fountain, which is pretty awesome. There are a lot of stages in this game. Most of them are memorable and fun. The worlds look amazing too. Just look at World Castle, World Bowser, and World Star. They look breathtaking. And in my opinion, this is my favorite Mario Final Boss. Bowser turns into a damn cat and you have to climb a massive tower. Then Bowser duplicates himself and sits on top of a giant power block and then explodes in midair. We also unlock 4 worlds after beating Bowser. That being World Star, Mushroom, Flower, and Crown. World Crown is home to some of the most difficult Mario levels, especially Champions Road. I'll also talk about the Switch version, since the really only new thing is Bowser's Fury. This is an open world 3D Mario. It's basically a brand new 3D Mario experience. This game is so great and I highly recommend you play it. 3D World is such an underrated gem of a 3D Mario and I'm so glad it was brought to the Nintendo Switch. Before we get into the last game, we have an honorable mention, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. It's just a compilation of 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy. The only added things are widescreen Sunshine and the ability to spin with the Y button in Galaxy. At least we get the soundtracks, but this is pathetic for celebrating Mario's anniversary. But now, let's get into the final game. Super Mario Odyssey is the best selling 3D Mario game, and there's definitely a reason why. Releasing in 2017, I got this with my Switch the same year, and I absolutely adore this game. The jump from 3D World to Odyssey is insane. Look at how nice this game looks. There's so many original characters and locations, and the locations being based on different real life locations. Sand Kingdom, Snow Kingdom, and Luncheon Kingdom being my favorites. Not to mention that Mario has over 50 unique costumes to collect, and they're all really cool and distinct from each other. There is so much content in this game. There is over 880 unique power moves to collect. Even though I think this is a massive amount of moons and a little overkill, I don't really mind since there is so much content. This game is just filled with personality and life. Being able to throw your cap and capture enemies varies the gameplay so much. You can capture Bowser in this game. Cappy makes platforming so much fun. See a huge jump? You can use a cap jump to get over it. Trick jumps are as fun as ever in this game. We also get another hard stage which is Darker Side. Although it's not that difficult, it's still fun and presents a bit of a challenge. Odyssey is extremely nostalgic for me, 
and I had an absolute blast playing it. I still play this game to this day, and it feels like a new experience every single time. So that's every 3D Mario game. I really enjoyed collecting these games. These games pretty much shaped me into the person I am today. And if this video does well, I'll make a follow-up video with 2D Mario. So thanks for watching, and if you want to help support the channel, you can subscribe or become a channel member for as low as 99 cents a month. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.